this very situation is miserable. Having joined the demon clan, she was recently tortured by the witch Zi Yin to extract information, all because they suspected her of sheltering Tang Chuan and his group. Now she is being attacked by Tang Chuan, who set the mice on her. They bite her, causing continuous pain. Just a moment ago, Tang Chuan and his group were escorting by Momo. In the next second, they were attacked by masked members of the demon clan. Tang Chuan realized something was wrong, and quickly ordered his subordinates to protect the princess. However, all of this was just a test by Momo used to determine if Tang Chuan was a spy from the immoral realm. She planned to use the Eye of True Sight to expose him. Tang Chuan, however, calmly ordered his subordinates to form a battle formation, and follow their training. This left by Momo puzzled. Tang Chuan's subordinates formation perfectly guarded by Momo without any leaks. At this moment, the masked members of the demon clan also launched an attack on Tang Chuan. But Tang Chuan's subordinates all managed to resist the assault. The masked members of the demon clan were quickly defeated. Is this your elite force? They couldn't even handle Tang Chuan's subordinates. Qian Ben believes they must have used some tricks in secret. Could this Tang Chuan guy be a genius? It turns out that Tang Chuan learned military strategy out of boredom in the mortal realm. If Tang Chuan doesn't make a move, I can't tell if he is from the immortal or demon realm. So by Momo secretly informed Zi Yin to use plan B. Zi Yin had Qian Ben personally provoke Tang Chuan to make a move, and Qian Ben thought he could gain great merit from it. Then, he fiercely attacked by Momo. Tang Chuan barely managed to defend against the powerful strike, but was pushed back several meters. This guy is amazing, let's quickly retreat. Excuse me. So, he embraced by Momo and planned to escape. In an instant, he left Qian Ben behind. This also made Zi Yin lose sight of Tang Chuan. They arrived in an alley, and Qian Ben caught up with them. Without hesitation, he used a move called the Soul Breaking Palm. However, Tang Chuan effortlessly blocked it with his middle finger, revealing a unique idiotic totem. This made Qian Ben realize that Tang Chuan was using immortal energy, and he intended to report it to Zi Yin immediately. It's too late. This is not ordinary immortal energy. It is extremely active. It should start corroding your entire body now. The next second, Qian Ben was surrounded by immortal energy. With just one palm, Qian Ben was knocked down. Another palm, the unique soul-breaking palm of the demon realm. Now they can deceive the heavens and cross the sea. Next is your turn. Bai Momo had a puzzled look, wondering what he meant. The next second, Tang Chuan released the rats and made them crawl onto her body. Immediately, countless rats started crawling inside Bai Momo's body. It turns out that Tang Chuan was helping her get rid of the worms planted by Zi Yin. Worms on Bai Momo's body are constantly being eaten by rats. No, if the worms disappear, Zi Yin will definitely notice. But Tang Chuan explained that the rats were not eliminating the worms. They were just dealing with them. If Zi Yin activates them, you will sense it, but it won't hurt. But why would you, as a spy from the Immortal Realm? I want you to point out Qian Ben to Zi Yin as the spy from the Immortal Realm. After all, I just used immortal energy to corrode his entire body. Regardless of whether Zi Yin believes it or not, there is no evidence now. Zi Yin is displeased. You even took away my Ning Sixing. Why should I help you? But Tang Chuan approached. When I helped you remove the worms earlier, I discovered that you're not just a lesbian, but you swing both ways. Then he intended to demonstrate his power on the spot, planning to seduce her. However, Zi Yin caught up at this moment, and questioned Tang Chuan about what had just happened. Tang Chuan explained that they had fought 300 rounds with the assassins, in order to protect Bai Momo, but they didn't expect the assassin to be Qian Ben. Seeing Tang Chuan's strength, Bai Momo also confirmed his identification. It turns out that Qian Ben was the spy from the Immortal Realm, and he had even tried to kill me earlier. Thanks to Tang Chuan's intervention, I survived. Zi Yin's subordinates also detected the powerful immortal energy on Qian Ben. Bai Momo remarked, that's the same as the immortal energy we sensed on Tang Chuan before. It's probably because Qian Ben had contact with Tang Chuan. They even discovered that he had been struck by the unique soul-breaking palm of the Demon Lord. Although the evidence was conclusive, Zi Yin felt that all of this was too coincidental. I will confirm Tang Chuan's identity with Qian Ben. As a result, Qian Ben turned out to be the spy from the Immortal Realm, and during the autopsy in the Demon Realm's Hall, it was confirmed that Qian Ben possessed a strong immortal energy. Zi Yin also had a suspicion and asked, could this be a setup? With such a strong immortal energy, at least an 8-star golden immortal would be needed to frame someone. How could the immortal realm send such a powerful person to be a spy? Although she was unwilling, Zi Yin had no choice but to accept it. However, Tang Chuan volunteered. If Madame Zi Yin is still unconvinced, I am willing to prove my innocence myself. Immortals and demons cannot cultivate together. Let Madame Zi Yin and I cultivate together, and we will find out. 
Zi Yin kept unleashing the worms, forcing Bai Momo to confess if she had an affair with Tang Chuan, but Bai Momo remained defiant. Tang Chuan is not a spy from the immoral realm, Zi Yin thought to herself, even the excruciating pain from these worms won't make her talk, could it be that I misunderstood Tang Chuan? Meanwhile, Bai Momo looked aggrieved, you promised to let me go once you found the spy from the immoral realm, you lied, Zi Yin played the rogue, I never said I would release you soon, besides, that night you even wanted to cultivate with me, wait until I vent my anger before letting you go, but suddenly, a sound came from behind, it turned out to be a big shot from the demon realm. Have you made progress on finding the spy from the immortal realm, as I instructed? Since Zi Yin didn't have evidence against Tang Chuan, she reluctantly implicated her subordinate, Qian Ben. She thought to herself, if she persisted with Tang Chuan, Elder Yang would think poorly of her abilities. She had to go along with the flow. Then the elder assigned her a new task. Monkey brought news. One of the immortals involved in the attack on Immortal City has information about the incineration god furnace. Find and capture that immortal. The distinguishing feature of the immortal is two moles on the chest, clear as day. Before leaving, he couldn't help but make a promise. If she completes this mission, she will be allowed to join the Sun Worship sect. After leaving, Zi Yin finally breathed a sigh of relief. She managed to pass the test. However, her younger brother was very worried. To identify the birthmarks on the immortal's chest, they would have to catch him and look closely. If another team leader captures the immortal before them, they would lose everything. Zi Yin looked at the unconscious by Momo. She is a true seeing immortal. She will surely be able to locate the whereabouts of that immortal. Her younger brother expressed concern. With so many people competing, we might not be able to outperform the other teams. Tang Chuan is a rare talent. If we win him over, we'll easily capture the immortal. Moreover, he doesn't know that I am the vice sect master's daughter. Now that he knows my identity, he will surely want to be on good terms with me. Then she approached by Momo. I'll give him an immortal to play with. That will surely make him forgive and forget the past. If you haven't been drained dry by Tang Chuan, I'll let you go. After a moment, she actually handed her over to Tang Chuan. Bai Momo had just regained her senses, but she didn't expect to see Tang Chuan working on assignments with Ning Sixing and the others. Bai Momo wondered if she was interrupting their work, but Tang Chuan didn't mind. After all, he wasn't stingy. I'm helping them improve their cultivation. Come on, let me help you too. Then a powerful energy blasted into the sky. Tang Chuan had already finished the task. They had also broken through to become a 5-star golden immortal after the previous cultivation session. They all praised Tang Chuan without end. Ning Sixing was curious. By Momo, I thought you were only interested in women. How come you're cultivating with Tang Chuan? It turned out by Momo had been pretending to be a lesbian all along, using that excuse to drive away immortals who approached her, and also using it to scare that witch, Zi Yin. Unexpectedly, Zi Yin, who seemed mature and experienced on the surface, was actually a shy little girl at heart. Ming Sixing still didn't understand. Why did you always take advantage of me before? Bai Momo replied, just look in the mirror more often. With a figure as amazing as yours, even if I'm not a lesbian, I'd still want to do something with you. At this point, Tang Chuan got back to business, asking Bai Momo why she hurriedly came. After explaining Monkey's information about the immortal who possesses a fragment of the incineration god furnace, Ming Sixing was very surprised that Monkey had such important intelligence. It seems that the demon realm has also sent many spies to the immortal realm. The key is how to capture the immortal with the double moles on the chest. And Zi Yin still hadn't completely dispelled her suspicion of Tang Chuan. If there are too many coincidences in this operation, it's certain that they will target him again. But Tang Chuan had already discovered Zi Yin's weakness. It was her desire to join the Sun Worship sect. Whenever it's disadvantageous to oneself, one suspects deception. But when it's advantageous, one considers it good luck. This is the weakness of human nature, and the same goes for the demon race. Bai Momo and the others had become enthusiastic fans, admiring Tang Chuan's understanding of human nature in this aspect. No wonder Ning Sixing, who is so beautiful, fell into your hands. Qian Ning also exclaimed that the senior is impressive with both heads. Three days later, outside the outskirts of Immortal City, the demon clans were ready to capture the immortals. Tang Chuan assigned responsibilities accordingly. One team needed to ambush. One team was responsible for a flank attack, and one team was in charge of cutting off the Immortals' escape route. The other captains all secretly thought that a frontal feint attack would definitely be met with a fierce counterattack. It must not be done. The best position would undoubtedly be the responsibility of cutting off the escape route. Unexpectedly, Tang Chuan directly took over the responsibility of the frontal feint attack, which left the other captains confused. Tang Chuan actually took the initiative to take on this thankless task. Such a fool exists in this world. 
by Momo activated her true side eye and saw everything clearly, watching each one without missing a detail. She was trying to find the person with the double moles on their chest, but she didn't find anything. However, Tang Chuan planned to directly examine each individual's body. During the escape, the fairies noticed something was amiss. It turned out that the demons had set up an ambush long ago. The leader of the fairies urged everyone to stay calm. The surprise attack plan hadn't failed yet. As long as they killed all of them, it would still be a perfect ambush. But the demons had already arranged their formation and were ready to strike. The fairies started to panic a bit. Meanwhile, the rear team witnessed the fierce battle up ahead. So they prepared their underlings, ready to seize the fairies when they scattered and fled. But suddenly, they noticed one of their subordinates being knocked away. Could it be someone launching a surprise attack? Before they could react, the masked person quickly dealt with the situation. Although disguised, your blue hair strand exposed you, Lan Mao. You must be that bastard trying to disturb our team, and snatch away the fairies. But before they could catch up, the masked person quickly escaped. So they focused on the frontline battle first, resolving the issue with that scoundrel, Lan Mao. But they didn't expect that all of this was Tang Chuan's plan to lure the tiger out of the mountain. It seems that the 8th team has left their position, and the fairies should have escaped over here. He then removed their snake disguise, instructing Ning Sixing and the others to capture all the fairies when they arrive. But Ning Sixing was curious, didn't we let the immortals go? Chan Ning was also puzzled, could it be for the purpose of finding the immortal with the double moles on their chest? But Tang Chuan, being a jerk, said that of course he would capture them to gain rewards and achievements for the demon clan. Unexpectedly, they all believed Tang Chuan. Senior must have their own thoughts. The escaping fairies realized that there were no pursuers catching up to them. They decided to take a good rest and discuss the power of the demon clan's formations. No wonder the previous advance team from the immortal realm was completely wiped out. It was already very lucky for us to escape, but the next moment, they heard Tang Chuan's voice. Don't imagine things too beautifully. All of you are captives of mine, Tang Chuan. That evil gaze is even more sinister than the demons earlier. Could it be a high-ranking member of the demon clan? Tang Chuan ordered them not to move and he arrogantly said that he would personally inspect each of their bodies. The next moment, the entire valley resounded with the screams of the fairies. You scum! Even if you use any means, I won't surrender to you. But Tang Chuan didn't care. Next one, the second fairy played the emotional card. Handsome guy, don't hurt me. I will do anything for you. Without any hesitation, Tang Chuan said. Next, the other fairies shouted. How dare you be so disrespectful to us, noble beings of the immortal realm. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch. After a while, the fairies were almost done with the inspection, leaving only one in front of them. I don't have anything on me. Please don't do anything rash. But in the end, Tang Chuan still discovered it. You hid it very well. It was actually hidden within the two moles on the inner side of the two peaks. Indeed, it was difficult to find. Then Tang Chuan asked for her name. Erf, but you're not allowed to call me Fufu. You can only call me little A or Air. Okay, Fufu, where's the information about the fragments of the incineration god furnace? She didn't know what the incineration god furnace was, but if it's about the inscription on my body, it's in a place that you can't reach inside me. And also, don't call me Fufu. Tang Chuan seemed to be thinking about something, so that's how it is. Afterward, they were all marked and sent to the demon realm for rewards. Does the demon lord scold the other teams for being useless? Only Tang Chuan managed to capture them all. Are the second and eighth teams that useless? The team leaders explained that it was the eighth team who ambushed us, which caused the mission to fail. The 8th team argued that you're the one who sent Lan Ma to ambush us, trying to capture the fairies more effectively. Watching the team leaders shift blame in front of them, the demon lord became furious. One of the team leaders tried to calm the demon lord down, stating that the mission was still a great success. Why not discuss the issue of the new position of Chen Ben? The 8th team proposed that Tang Chuan should take on the credit for this mission. The second team leader also agreed. They all didn't want the other to take that position away from Tang Chuan. The demon lord announced that Tang Chuan has shown great courage and captured all the immortals, and according to the agreement, Tang Chuan will assume the position of Qian Ben. Then the order was given to imprison the captured immortals securely, as they would be the prizes for the hunting grand event next month. Ziyin also saw Tang Chuan coming out, and she didn't expect Tang Chuan to tell her that the person with the double moles is called Erf. If she doesn't want to fall into someone else's hands, she should acquire it as soon as possible.